Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Fisher Online guys and today we are at Poland and just look at how beautiful it is. It is so green, it is just so rich in color uh, with very epic mountains in the background uh, and we are going to be fly fishing. That's all this map is about. That's why I've never been to this map until now which is very late. Uh, but if you look at the map here uh, it's a very deep river and I will show you where the brook trouts are, where the golden trouts are and the regular trouts. The regular trouts are right off here. So you start basically here when you come to the map. You run off the stock, you run into the water and you go right over there and you cast in the deep end anywhere over here <clears throat> and you will catch trouts. Uh, so, just to show you, uh, these are the fish in this river. There's golden trout, there's brook trout, there's hucho taman. I, I really don't know how to pronounce this, but I like pronouncing it like that. Uh, the taman is really cool. Uh, we have our regular river trout, the regular trout, European grayling, and uh, that's basically it. Uh, today's episode, golden trout and brook trouts are going to be our main goal. Uh, the other thing, like I've mentioned in the previous episode, guys, trouts do not fetch you much money and it's very disappointing, but golden trouts and brook trouts are worth very little money. You're better off catching regular trouts. And for the setup, we're going to be using uh, one fly fishing rod, obviously. 17.2 kg liter grasshopper dry fly. This is what I'm using. All right. And then the other two rods are going to be bottom feeding rods and they're going to have shrimp on them. I have a 14.5 kg liter and a small hook. Lucky fishing. Let's do that to 19. Our third rod as well, we have 11.4 kg liter, lucky fishing and shrimp. I don't know how much of a difference the liter makes. Uh, but rather than going to a 19 kg liter, I'm going... 11 and 14. Uh, it remains to be seen if smaller leaders bring in more of the small and cautious fish. Since we're going after small fish, these trouts are only growing up to, you know, maximum of 5 or 6 or 7 kg. Uh, it makes sense that you will need smaller leaders. So, in Fisher Online, some of the maps you can actually go into the water. As long as they're not too deep. And isn't it cool? We're actually making waves this water we're actually interacting and we can see how the rocky bottom it is it's just so good i love it okay let's keep on moving and i'll just whip out the map and show you where i will be fishing today uh so we are right here on the edge of this island here if we zoom out you spawn right here okay on the map and then you just run up to the small island. Uh, one bottom fish, uh, feeder rod I'm going to throw right here. One bottom feeder rod I'll throw maybe at the tree, maybe to the right of it. And the fly fishing, obviously, we're just going to throw right here. Let's get started. One rod is right here. Let's cast all the way because why the heck not? Okay. Other one towards the tree. Right? Well, we're to the right of the tree. That's fine. Okay, that is in the deep end. And our fly fishing rod, you can just throw over there. Uh, so this way we are being very efficient. Rather than just fishing with one fly fishing rod, we're fishing with three. And uh, that's really cool. So with fly fishing, what I've learned, what you guys have taught me uh, when I've streamed this game, is uh, you either... Do this, basically. You let it, you know, you let the line out, you know, let the line go out, and you just uh, strip or yank the rod twice. <clears throat> and that should be a good technique. Rather than just once yanking it, you're supposed to do it twice. Okay, and then once it goes out a lot, I just reel it in a little bit and do this again. 
Oh, <clears throat> there's always a fish that jumps very close to your fly. So it looks like you might have a fish on, but no. And that's how it's done. Unless you know of a different method and you play this game and it's worked for you, please let me know. Uh, but wow, look at that. Look at how deep we are here. If this fly does not work, we can always switch to something else. But I've had very good luck. Very good time with this grasshopper fly. There we go. <laughs> and it's big enough that we're using our cute little thing here at the bottom. <clears throat> uh, is that a chub? Yeah, that's a chub. So you're going to get chubs and ides, I believe, as well here. That's a 3.6 kg large chub. Okay, cool. Let it out, let it out. Oh, there we go. We got something. Small. Uh, but... <clears throat> uh, ooh, is that a brook? No, that... That's a gold. That's a gold. Oh my god, yes. That is a golden trout. Oh my. Isn't that a beautiful fish? It is not a marker fish, sadly. It's too small. Uh, but just look how beautiful it is. I love it. Oh, we got a fish there. Uh, let's put this down. Let's put this down. Okay, number three. Alright, so... There's not a single fish that's going to push our 18 kg rod setup. Actually, only the Taman is going to push it, but Taman's are so rare, I doubt we're going to catch one. And I believe we need to do spin fishing for them. And that looks like a <clears throat> regular or a brook. That looks like a brook to me. I'm not noticing much of a red hue or color in it. That is a large brook trout, 1.7 kg. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? Such clean and nice looking fish. So if we catch another fish at the spot, uh, I'm going to recast this guy and cast it over there. The other thing to notice, guys, is uh, small hooks. I used medium hook, uh, like this guy here. Uh, what is this? Number three. Number two. Wow, okay. So on the medium hook, we got a fish. Last time I fished here, I was using a medium hook. I did not catch a single fish on it. Uh, so, oh, we... Okay, we have a rod. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's keep on fishing. Uh, we just arrived here maybe two, three minutes ago. And we already have two different nice fish. It's only a matter of time before we get a, uh, a marker golden trout. And right after casting, we got a fish. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Look how he... Look how he... Uh... Reels in the line with his hand. That is so cool. Very cool. And it's just such a lovely map. Man, that is a... A decent sized trout. Let's drag him over land. And a 1.5 kg trout. I'm surprised... How we struggle to just bring in a 1.5 kg trout. No, they, they sure look stronger than they are. Uh, but... Yeah. If it's a stronger fish, we start using our handle. So... There we go. Another one. The graylings are not really at the spot. The graylings, I believe, are all at... Right outside the pier, where I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And I also got one... A non-marker taman at that spot as well. I don't remember if it was on the shrimp or if it was on my fly. There we go. That's a marker. That has to be a marker gold. Heck yes. Look at that bad boy. 1.7 kg almost. A large golden trout. Oh yes. That must be super rare. 
No. Take it. There we go. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, large and a large. And you'll see these are not worth anything. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, oh, there we go. Yes. I was going to say, come on, come on, let's go. Uh, but the buy rate is very good. Very good. Oh, there we go. Grailing. Finally. Carpe and grailing. And if you look at the top right, <clears throat> my daily mission is active. I need to catch 6.7 kg of brook trouts. Right now I have 1.7 kg. Uh, so obviously it's only a matter of time. Before we catch that many brook trouts. All that matters is if you are at the right spot, you will get the fish you want. Uh, it's not like, oh no, I don't know if in the next RL you can catch one. No, you will catch them here. See, this fish is big enough that we're using the handle and we're not reeling with our hand, like uh, holding the line and reeling it in with our hand. Ooh, this, look at this. This is a, is that a large river trout? No way. No, that's a, that's, that's a chub or an eyed. That's a large chub. Okay. Uh, the chub is just such a disgusting, not clean looking fish. <clears throat> you can even see there's like a scratch down here. Just doesn't look clean at all. Whereas the trouts just look so beautiful. Alrighty. It's becoming a dark, I wonder if I need to change the fly now or if uh, different types of fish start biting. I hope we can get different fish or maybe the size increases. I know trouts were actively biting at night uh, at the spot at the bend here by their pier uh, <clears throat> when I was fishing there previously on stream. Uh, I was getting lots of trouts, actually. Oh, there we go. Now, what is this? Is that a brook or is that a gold? That looks... Uh, doesn't look red. It just looks dark. Oh, that's a gold. Yes. Nice. Man, it sucks it's getting dark. I love the view. Let's, uh, let's keep on fishing. And see how we do here. We got a fish. Let me turn my light on here. All right. What could this be? Ooh. It's big enough that I have to raise my rod. Uh, I think that's a trout. It's small though. Or it's a gold, isn't it? Yeah. Hard to tell though, because uh, they all look sort of similar, but trouts are a lot more red. So this looks more like a gold to me. Yeah, that's a gold. Large brook trout. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> so there you go, both rods worked. This one. I cast it this way. And this one is in the tree. Oh, yes. Look at that. I had no idea I had a fish on. And uh, here we are. Oh, that's a trout. So I'm going to take a guess and say that at night, trouts uh, become more active. Oh, man. What the heck? Not even a marker. One kg fish should be a marker. Because one kg is a huge sized fish like in real life if i catch a one kg fish that would be amazing <laughs> that'd be a huge fish for me uh oh do we got one yeah right away oh what is this would it be a river i'd like to get a river trout too now since i have all the other fish no uh, hard to say it's white yeah, that is a river trout, isn't it? A non-marker, though, sadly. 
Uh, that look, that's promising though. Crowd. Up, yeah, up. Because you weren't big enough. And just do Yankee Doodle strip mode here. And soon, guys, I will move to this bend here. Maybe I might try this, this place here as well. Who knows? Uh, different areas have different fish, as I have learned recently. Oh, we got a fish. Hello, Dusk Service. Yes. Hey. What are you? What are you? Better crowd. Oh, Brooke, we are halfway through. Damn. Maybe I should stay at the spot for a while because I'd like to do the mission. That's a trout as well. One. Oh my god, what is going on? Should I uh, increase this to medium? Uh, crap, what was I using? Small or... Let's use medium here. Let's put shrimp. All right. Ah, oh, what's going on here, bud? Anything interesting? Yeah, let's move. I don't know when I need, I should move. Maybe like in the next few minutes or maybe in the morning. I think I'm going to move in the next few minutes. Uh, if this spot slows down, which I don't think it will, all the spots will have the exact same bite rate, I feel. Uh, so let me see how it goes. Wow. You guys should have seen that. Damn, I wasn't recording. Oh, that was beautiful. 3.7 kg large trout. Right here where my rod is pointing, that tip. Right there. I almost reeled in the whole line. And right out of the depths, I saw a trout come and jump out, taking our, our flight. That was amazing. Wow. Let's now make our way to um, <clears throat> the spot I was talking about. So, uh, I was just fishing over here, really. Oh, no. Yeah, this is not going to work. Hold on. Yesterday... What I was doing was... I was just casting from here, really. Oh, 14. Just casting randomly. Like this. 11. Okay. Because, uh, unfortunately, you cannot put your rods down in shallow water. You can only do it like this. One stick, I think, has to be on ground even though it's going right through uh so the issue is going to be i'm going to go up all the way to the shallow end here and then cast in the deep end uh so i won't be able to hear my rods unless they start ticking and that's when i can go back but i'm just gonna you know put them out here if if it gets spooled which i doubt it will if it does we're not gonna lose anything uh so it's fine Let's trek over here. Wow. Okay, this is deep. I did not go this far previously. So let's just uh, try here in chest deep water. Oh my god, this is a brand new experience. It's extremely scary. Uh, sitting in a, no, standing in a river that's chest high water, and it's flowing pretty good too. That's scary. I, I should back up a little bit, but just for experience sake, let's do this and see how it goes. I wonder if we will even see our net when we pull the fish in. Ooh, 
There used to be a large trout. I'm tired of getting the smaller ones. Oh, come on! Oh, I hate these trouts now. 1kg, not even a marker. Come on. Here we go. Looks like we got something. I believe that's a trout. Yeah, it's big enough that we're not reeling in with our hand, but instead with our, uh, with our spool. I did end up changing the fly, uh, to big. I will show you guys the name. So basically you gotta just experiment, try out different flies, honestly. Okay, I really hope this is a big trout. Uh, yes, 3.5 kg trout. There we go. This is Reuben Fly Big. I'm just trying this out right now. Oh boy. We got something in our bottom feeder. So we quickly need to take this fish in. Uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's not a non-marker. <clears throat> that would be <laughs> disappointing. Let's see here, 1.4 kg, just barely. So what I do, I just travel to town. It's so much faster. And then pick up my rod. All right. Oh yeah, it's a tiny fish because it just went nowhere at all. But you know what? It's a free fish nonetheless because uh, we weren't using these rods. And I just threw them out because why the heck not? A uh, non-marker, but you know what? It's uh, the free fish for us. But I cannot cast these four, nor can I. Nor can I, you know, like, put them on the ground there. Uh, so let me spend a few more minutes here, and then, uh, I don't know, I just want to try out... I'll try whatever looks interesting here. Maybe this spot looks good. Maybe I might go here somewhere. I, I don't know. Uh, but let's see what happens. Nice. First cast, I did not go way over there. I think I'm just on the edge of the shallow and the deep end. So let's see what this... Oh, no, it's a trout. And now I can hear my bottom setups as well, which is good. At least it's big enough that uh, I'm using my my spool here. Uh, 3.5 kg. Perfect. When you use your spool, it means the fish is uh, not really that small. Which is good. And another free fish here for us. Non-marker probably. Uh, no, 2.9 kg, there you go. Nice, nice, I likey. Let's also bring this forward a little bit. And you don't have to be at the deep end. Uh, that's just my assumption, maybe deep end holds bigger or fatter fish. Uh, but, I mean, let's just go over here. And that's it. That's all as far as you need to go, I think. I can hear my rods and I can cast. Now remember in your settings, uh, you can increase your signal sound uh, to max. And then maybe I like to experiment, go all the way over there and see if I can still hear my, my rods. Did I catch it? No. All right, I'll keep fishing. Another large trout here. Oh man, I can't even reel this in right now. There we go. Alright. You're mine. How big are you? 3.3 kg. Man, look at this. 3 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg. That was on shrimp. 3, 3. And 1.4 and then another 3. So you know what? Maybe this spot casting that way is the better way to go. Okay, so I don't know what this is. This is the only fish so far that has pushed my setup. I think I have 14.5 kg line on this, and it was red lining. Ooh, another trout. Guys, I just caught my biggest trout on fly fishing. Uh, right before this fish. 
So let's see how big this is. 3.4 kg. Okay, look at that. 3.7 kg trout. I think that's the biggest so far. 3.5, 3.5. Yeah. Nice. So at nighttime, this is the spot. Even my shrimps are uh, getting these bad boys. So. Wow. I was spin fishing for trouts, you know, just for the hell of it. <gasps> That's a taman. Oh, heck yeah. That is a taman, a hucho taman. Oh my. Did not expect that. This guy's a funny, weird looking guy, isn't he? At 1.8 kg non marker, but I am going to keep him nonetheless. This is what I'm using. I'm using my regular heavy duty, you know, spin fishing setup. I just bought the Trout Master M3 from the store and it says it's made for careful trouts. So I was like, you know what? Why the heck not? Let's just cast it right here. This is where we are. And I'm casting into the deep end. Uh, not far off from the pier. And it's just a straight retrieval. There's no right clicking because, you know, it's just a light spinner. Uh, so I don't think you can do anything special to get a new technique out. If you look at the bottom left, it says uniform. Oh, wow. No way. That guy's huge. Are you serious right now? 2.667. Okay, that guy looked pretty big. Uh, but you can also spin fish here. Who would have thought? If you don't want to uh, fly fish, or if you don't have a fly fishing setup, you can actually do spin fishing here, but I don't know how good the spin fishing setup is. I wonder if I go to that brook and golden trout spot, are we still going to get those fish on these on this spinner? I don't know. So let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, initially it looked really like a taman or something. Uh, but it's just a small fish. Small trout by the looks of it. I just caught a perch as well. So. I am in a very funny spot. I am all the way from there on this rock here. I don't even know how I caught on, got onto this. Because there are invisible walls that prevents you from drowning yourself. <laughs> So I'm gonna try, I just, I just want another tame and honestly, nothing more I want. So, alrighty, uh, look at that, we have a gold, golden trout. I ended up moving it to the tree here, That's, this is our base, this is our tree. So I'm just checking the spot out. I think this is a river trout, yes! This is definitely a marker. Oh, yeah, that's a good sized. Nice. There you go. Uh, by changing the spots, you can experiment and maybe find spots for different fish. River trout, 4.1 kg. Uh, super nice. Uh, so here you go. Look at this. I started fishing with the spin setup. I got my taman trout perch and a non-marker trout and then I moved to spots and I got a golden tent and a river trout. Uh, so it's a very fun map. You can explore it. It's not too big and maybe you can find yourself a spot maybe where there are big taimants. Uh, the biggest one caught so far is 14 kg. And so far the biggest one we have is a non-marker. So imagine how rare they are and how much money probably they will fetch. So let's reel this guy in and uh, uh, go back and sell our fish and see how much these fish are worth and how much we made in this episode in our journey to Poland. Cool map as always. Uh, Italy, Netherlands, um, uh, sorry, not Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands? Not Netherlands. Where the heck were we just now? And uh, let's see, Finland. Yes, Finland. 
Italy, all these maps are just amazing to look at. Let's go ahead and sell our fish. Uh, 383 bucks. So as you guys can see, uh, you don't get much money from uh, fly fishing. Even in Finland, uh, just did not make enough. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the trouts, uh, disappointingly, are worth more than the rarer river trout, the brook trout, and the golden trout. Uh, this Tamen 1.8 kg is 11 silver. So what remains to be seen is if this was a 5 kg, would it be, <clears throat> you know, like 50 silver or, or would it be 100 silver? Uh, because that does happen. Uh, look at this. This is so weird. 27 silver for this 2 kg trout. And then only 20 silver for 3.5 kg trout, right? So why is this so special? Uh, it says red caviar. And this one does not have red caviar. So apparently, I believe the developer, he's supposed to add in missions and these sizes mean something to those missions. Uh, I just don't know when they will be implemented. But you will see uh, that it is not always linear. The bigger the fish, you know, linearly, the bigger your payout will be. No, uh, it's also in rarity. So like if 3 kg trouts are very common, 19 silver. And let's say this is a 4 kg. This does not mean it's going to be, you know, 25 or 40 silver. It's going to be like 50 or 60 silver because it's so much rarer to cast that size. Uh, but nonetheless, even though this is a large golden trout, look at that. It's worthless. 15 silver. That is just disappointing. Large brook trout, 12 silver. Come on. Uh, either way, beautiful looking fish. Very fun fishing. And, um, yeah, a whole lot of fun. And next video, I'm thinking of fly fishing in other maps, such as Russia and other places. I hope to see you then. Uh, until the very next time, guys. Enjoy.